I'm Dr. Mark Dawson. Uh, I'm a Vesky Innovation Fellow and I've just returned to Melbourne to work at the Peter McCallum Cancer Institute as a consultant haematologist and a group leader leading the newly formed Cancer Epigenetics Lab. DNA is packaged by wrapping it in a very special way. It's packaged around some unique proteins called histones. And this packaging allows it to be compacted into this small space called the nucleus. Now this complex of DNA and histones is called chromatin. And it provides the context for all our DNA templated processes. The expression of genes on the DNA, the replication of the DNA, and its repair. Our laboratory in part focuses on understanding how this process works in acute myeloid leukemia, how we can identify the Achilles heel for this disease, and how we can use that information to develop new treatments to better treat our patients and really change the natural history of this aggressive disease. If we can find ways to manipulate the epigenetic landscape to control the way our DNA is expressed or replicated or repaired, then we can really design some new treatments to specifically turn on and off genes in the right cells in the right context. I started at the University of Melbourne. Um, it's where I did my uh, medical degree. Um, I did my early physician training at St Vincent's Hospital um, and did my specialty training in haematology at the Alfred. So Melbourne's a very special place for me. I was then very fortunate to receive a prestigious postgraduate fellowship uh, from the Sir John Monash Foundation. You know, and this really gave me an opportunity to pursue my career ambitions. It gave me the opportunity to go to the University of Cambridge. Amongst the many things I learned there, the, the key thing that came across to me was that anything is possible, provided you put your mind to it. During my PhD in Cambridge, I discovered a novel signalling pathway, a novel role for an enzyme that is highly conserved throughout evolution and plays a key role in a number of important biological processes. And I showed that this enzyme can directly influence uh, gene expression by working on the epigenetic landscape. With the support of the Wellcome Trust, I have been working with the pharmaceutical company, GSK. And we've managed to develop new drugs that target a very novel aspect of, of cell biology, which is protein-protein interactions at the DNA interface. And we've shown that these drugs have remarkable efficacy in some of our very aggressive cancers, including acute myeloid leukemia. Vesky has been um, absolutely instrumental as a mechanism to help entice Mark back to Melbourne. Um, in the end, that's really important, not only because um, Mark will add tremendously to our knowledge uh, and uh, our translational research capacity in leukaemia, uh, but ultimately the beneficiaries of that uh, are going to be the cancer patients. Our move back to Victoria really centred around the move of Peter Mack to Parkville. You know, the ambition, scope and goals of the Victorian Comprehensive Cancer Centre is one of the main reasons we came back. We've also managed to entice his wife, Dr. Sarah Jane Dawson, who is a wonderful uh, and internationally recognised breast cancer researcher, back to Peter Mack. It's great to have had her by my side for the last decade, um, and she continues to be there, even though she's running a completely research, different research program, asking some fundamentally different questions in a different cancer. Um, the support we get from each other is invaluable. The move from Cambridge back to Melbourne inevitably has its pitfalls and its support like the Vesky has given us uh, that allows us to embed ourselves quickly and establish a research program immediately to try and achieve our goals of trying to deliver better treatments for our patients with cancer. Mark's presence in Melbourne will facilitate brand new therapies, cutting edge therapies, world first therapies um, that are being brought here for the very first time. As a clinician scientist, my ultimate goal is to use my basic science knowledge to make a difference in the clinic. Um, and so most of our research is geared towards translational medicine. You know, most of our discoveries are aimed at trying to understand ways in which we can develop drugs to better target uh, a process that's gone awry in cancer. And hopefully, with the support of industry, which we have, with the support of government, which we now have, we can use this to try and leverage what is necessary 
to translate some of our basic research findings into the clinical arena where it will have its most impact. Thank you.